There we go. How many of you know who, someone who has served in the military? Hello, my name is Rafe Samsel, and my project is on how I sent letters to the active service members overseas. And for my research project, I studied the mental health of members who were deployed. Back when I was little, my past experience on this topic has been the really big driving force for what I was doing uh, for this project. And back in second grade, we did a project with our teachers, which we made small designs on cards saying happy holidays and little cute pictures sometimes of Christmas trees. Sometimes some people drew um, something that they weren't supposed to, but that's just with the childlike mentality of second graders. Um, We usually did these cards seasonally. Uh, back around Thanksgiving to Christmas time, we usually made these cards and sent them out. Uh, we kept doing this until fourth grade, and then we stopped because I had to move out of uh, the school I was in. On my project, I interviewed many veterans and also did a lot of research online to see what uh, the overall majority thought was. And I asked them what their experiences was, what locations they deployed to, and overall what happened. So the woman above me is my mom. She was a security forces, uh, her rank was an E7 Master Sergeant, which is two ranks below the max rank you can get as an enlisted. And she was a canine unit, so she had roughly around five canines under her uh, belt of years. She told me that uh, the hardest part of the deployment was when she was at home, when my dad was deployed, the hardest part was during Christmas Day, it was hard to prep everything. All the families were all together, but ours was kind of separated overseas. And it wasn't exactly easy to contact him since most bases don't really have the best Wi-Fi, especially back in the 2010s. And sometimes it wasn't safe because this was also in the back uh, in the roaring fire of the Afghan uh, terrorist war. And the hardest thing was for her was the minimal contact from my father from her and him. Along with the fact that doing this all alone while pregnant and two children already busy, along with a lot of other things, it was just really hard for her. The man above me is my father. He was an E-8 senior master sergeant as a security forces, aka the military police. His job was to mostly administer the police. He wasn't actually like on the ground in the cruiser. He was more of sitting down and officing and directing people around. Uh, he usually held up to 50 people in his unit, and he told me about the times and the locations he's been to, or where he's been to. He was, he's been down to Kuwait, Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, Iraq, yeah. Um, the whole 
hardest part for him was the same as my mother, being away for so long. Um, at times, this was before I was uh, old. So right when I was around four, my sister was at two. The hardest part was him coming back home and having my sister have no recollection, recollection of him. And that was really hard on him because he didn't know how to handle it because he was completely forgotten in your eyes. And for the final part of the project, we made the cards, but due to the technical difficulties of COVID, I did not get the required amount that I wanted. Um, the biggest thing was the times didn't match up, and the times that did match up were delayed, and that the delayed times didn't work out for me or them at times. So I got a card count of 14 cards from a school in the elementary school in Dunbarton. Uh, it was a kindergartner class that helped me, which helps a lot because what they uh, drew on the cards was really, really cute and also pretty funny. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. To compensate for the card loss, my sister and a few of her friends helped out and made eight more cards. And it really helped a lot and meant a lot to me that she would do that. Even though I didn't directly ask her, she still helped. Um, luckily that brought the total up to 22. That's it, by the way. The time I spent on this project opened up so many doors that I had no idea existed. I learned new things about my parents that I would have never known about unless I asked about it. Our service members are still people, and like my cousin said, or my cousin who was also in the military, showed me that even the cards, as small as they are, as insignificant some people might put them, they would be, it would be, it means a lot to them because they go through hell and back at times. These cards were going to be sent to uh, David Dunley, who is a soldier my mother was deployed with back in 2010 to Iraq. Thank <laughs> you.